So today on Project Shop, we're up here in Daytona Beach. That's a beach right there. So we're over here. Uh, I didn't know the job was literally right on the beach. But apparently, there's a big plaza around here somewhere. I think it's a Publix shopping center. So normally, a public shopping center has some really nice high-end lights. So I'm really excited to see this. Looks like we're in a really nice area right here. The Salty Dog Surf Shop. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Look at this ride here. Screamers. That's a fitting name for a the Vomitron. <laughs> oh my god. Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, we're, we're right up where it's all happening. Local homeless guy. Oh, I've been here. Hog Heaven Barbecue. We might be getting lunch there. Alright, we're here. Dang, these are not cast aluminum. But, you know, we can't be picky. Looks like a shitload of lights, though. They're everywhere. Hey, chill out. Wow, so here you go. These things are massive. Hopefully, they got copper transformers in them. Now, these have giant um, pieces of sheet metal wrapped around them. That's going to be fun to deal with. These are pretty simple lights. I've done these before. What I'm probably going to do is uh, pick this up with the crane and set it on the trailer. Flip it over upside, you know, facing up, and then we'll tear into it. They've already started. They told me to be here at 11, but they've obviously been here. They got like one, two, three, four, five already down. So I might pick these up and go stage them somewhere so I can do them all at once. I don't know. Or I might just pick them up and do them one at a time. These are some big boxes. And unfortunately, I got this big old transformer. I might have to break that thing down and pick it up with the crane and boom it into the back of the truck so I have more deck space. That thing's taking up a ton of deck space and it's pretty heavy weighs over 600 pounds
Okay, we're out back here behind the plaza. I'm going to uh, just start staging them over here. Once I get a bunch over here, I'll just start tearing them into them all at once. But these are going to be uh, pretty interesting. These are huge boxes. And we ain't got a lot of deck space. Okay, we're gonna have to work on this because this is a uh, uh, this is a lot. I'm gonna have to try to pick these up in a way where I flip them right off the bat, so I'm not double rigging. And when I lay them down, uh, I gotta make sure I lay them far enough where I'm not blocking my trailer. I mean, I can get out of here, but we want to lay them out there a little bit more. Definitely needing to do some upgrades on the crane. This thing is all wonky and wanting to pop out of here. This is just something I built with parts I had laying around out of motorcycle sprockets and, you know, chains and whatever else I had. I'm down to one function here. I got my left and right rotation. My left and right rotation is barely working with this switch, but these are still working. And I brought, we're gonna be using the heck out of this crane, so I brought the generator and a, uh, a battery charger. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that thing on here after about maybe one more of these just so that this battery doesn't get dead. Yeah, this thing keeps popping up. There used to be a pin down in that hole. I bet I should find something. Stick in there. Pulley. Oh, I don't want to tear up the cable. You know, for building this thing on a Harbor Freight budget, out of literally originally a Harbor Freight crane, uh, underneath all this mess is a uh, Harbor Freight crane. 
first time I used it, I just about ripped it off the back of my truck. So I started reinforcing it, and then uh, this is what we came up with. So I'm getting into these, and these are pretty basic and really simple. I've done a ton of these. These are gonna come apart pretty easy. I'm kicking myself in the butt for not bringing more guns, but we should be able to make do what we got. Now, I know for a fact that that's a double copper 1,000 watt transformer. Usually they got a pretty good amount of copper in there. This thing says it was wired for 480 volt. All right, we're gonna uh, continue figuring out what we need here. I'll probably just put a time lapse on real quick knock these four out get a good uh, bead on what it's going to take to get these apart and figure out how we're going to start stacking them because uh, these things are huge as you can see just four of them pretty much take over the whole deck so i'm going to see how the stack i might put a layer down and then start stacking them up or i'll just start stacking them up right off the gate i don't know we'll see how it goes we got options but whatever we're going to do, we're going to have a huge pile of this aluminum. Now, unfortunately, this is pretty much going to be big, empty space, you know? Other than we're going to put the domes back in there. And then we have uh, on-site dumpsters that says recyclable only. Uh, the glass says recyclable, so we'll be throwing that in there. <laughs> and then, as you can see, there's these generators. They're all over the property. These Generac light posts. This is like a mini version of what I've got at the shop. So basically, uh, this transformer blew up. And this transformer is what powers all the lights on this property. So we got ourselves a free 600 pound transformer and all this scrap. I'll tell you what, man, from experience, if you have a couple cones with you, you wouldn't believe the stuff you can just pull up and get away with. <laughs> Not that we're doing anything wrong, but when I used to cut concrete, I'd pull up in the most random spots, right up on the road, just put out some cones, man. They think you were city workers. <laughs> That's how they're coming down. Bucket truck and crane. Okay, we literally got like a sea of lights out here. I already done went through, opened them up, pulled out all the lamps, and I knocked off all these things. Uh, this is super tedious. I've never had to take these off before, so that took up like all of my time. Some of it was pop riveted on. Some of it was uh, a million self tappers. So now that I got that off, I can kind of pick it up, pick up the pace here a little bit, and I should be able to knock these out pretty quick. All my batteries for my GoPro died, so I'll just have to give you some updates and uh, see if all of that is gonna fit right here. <laughs> Plus, get this, they're gonna come back tomorrow and probably do maybe the same amount, so I don't know how we're gonna get all this on here, but we're gonna try. Okay, I've got pretty much everything unscrewed, and the only thing left to do now is just to clip the wires and then pull this stuff apart stack it on trailer this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh clear some space in the back of my truck i'm gonna dismantle that thing there so it condenses down and i have my whole deck to stack these lights on because uh i'm gonna need it just look how much room two of them takes up on the deck 
and I'm still wondering if I should, I think I'm gonna do a whole row side by side and then stack them from there up on top. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But it's coming along good, it's been a long day. I probably didn't start until like one o'clock. It's like six something now, I think, you know? So being that I had to pick them up over there and drag them over here, and then I was following them guys around for a while and they were dropping them right on my trailer. For one person, this is a lot of work, you know? But uh, like I said many, many times, if you just stick to one process, and you just start knocking it out. By the time you get to that last process, you're gonna be done. And then it's just, you clean. everything's gonna clean up really fast and easy. So hopefully we'll get this loaded up before it gets dark. The sun's going away pretty quick. We got our temporary lights up already, but um, I'd like to get this loaded and strapped down. Okay, it's like a graveyard of transformers out here. Look at this mess, man. There's stuff everywhere, it got dark on me. Um, I have two four headers to finish cutting the wires and pulling all the steel out everything's prepped just need to cut the wires i've been bringing the uh slip fitters over here i'm going to uh i don't know if i'm going to grind these tonight but i'm probably going to con condense all this stuff down but what i got going on here it's kind of crazy but um i think it's going to do it so i've been stashing all the heavy extruded aluminum all the way in the back of the trailer because i got right out the gate 700 pounds of crane i got a generator toolbox full of crap so we want to put a lot of weight back here lighten up on the tongue but what i'm going to do is i was able to fit two of these flat then one upright like that and what that's going to allow me to do is run two more layers flat on top and i'll still have a lip right here as long as i have a lip here i'll go one more row see that something like that I'll, I'll put another row up there you know we'll either stack them across this way or we'll lay them down flat i haven't decided yet but what i'm trying to do is keep it as low as possible so tomorrow i could still utilize the crane pick up the whole four header set it up on top of here and then what i'm going to do up here is i need to tighten up in the back here i got four tires two spares for the trailer and two spares for my truck i'm going to stack them up there and i'm going to use some of this steel as like you know sanford and sun sides <laughs> and uh put that big transformer in the back of the truck maybe we'll see how this uh crane likes to uh stretch that far we might be asking for it with that broken uh, thing that's almost i took all the panels off but it's still probably about five or six hundred pounds we're going to be stretching all the way out there so I'm going to just take a quick break right here, tighten up the back of the truck, and uh, man, we're going to start loading stuff. up. Oh, and I'm going to load all the transformers in the back of the truck. Okay, there you have it. We got it all strapped down. We got the whole area cleaned up. Looks like we weren't even here. Now, I have three layers here. Each layer is squeezed to itself. And then once i finally get on the road i will put more straps than what i have but this is only going right down the road there ain't nothing coming off of this but i do have weights i weighed one of these and the extruded and this sheet metal so once i get back to the hotel i'll kind of know how much weight and how much money i got i know it's hard to see but down there there's a pile big old thousand watt transformers man i'm stoked about that and all this shit here it's free and unfortunately i had to ride to daytona for it so uh i think it's gonna be worth it because there is a ton more lights coming down so i'm gonna go back and uh, get something to eat take a shower and uh we'll get some numbers okay we're all cleaned up back at the hotel now um this is what we had on those little sheet things those little um uh shields basically the the owner told me they put them up for turtles we had uh, 23 of them at nine pounds a piece, 207 pounds at 55 cents a pound was 113.85. The HID fixtures, we had 44, 34 pounds a piece. We're, now this is just kind of roughly, they might not all be the same. Uh, 100 and, uh, 1,496 pounds, 55 cents a pound, $822.80. Extruded aluminum, 44 at five uh, pounds each, 220 pounds. 
70 cents a pound, $154. And then that big transformer, irony aluminum, 521 pounds, 15 cents a pound. We're not gonna process it, we're gonna sell it as is. Uh, 78.15 for a total of $1,169.40. Now, that is processed, ready to go. It's gonna get sold right off uh, when I get back. And tomorrow, we might be maybe not getting this much tomorrow, but we're gonna add to this a lot. And then we had 44,000 watt transformers. Now, I don't think they're all double copper, but the majority of them looked and felt like they were double copper. So we're just gonna say they're worth 10 bucks a piece. They're probably more worth like 15, or I think some of them things are even worth like 17 bucks a piece, uh, fully processed. But we'll just say ten dollars. So there's an additional four forty with all the other steel um, that wasn't accounted for. There's definitely another five hundred dollars that we're going to add to that just for this day, and then uh, we'll see what we got tomorrow. Now we are back over at the hotel, relaxing, right on the beach. Got the pool. The moon, truck and trailer full of scrap. Man, what more could you need? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Daytona Beach. Oh. All right. I'm gonna uh, enjoy the rest of my evening and we're gonna get back at it in the morning. Okay, we're back at it. I'm gonna try something different today. I have my battery pack plugged into the GoPro, so maybe it'll last a little bit longer. Someone in the comments mentioned that when I'm recording in 4K, uh, to leave the battery out and run it direct. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I forgot this one yesterday. I didn't realize they took this one down, so I totally missed it. Uh, so we're gonna try to get this up on the trailer. Basically, I'm gonna pick it up I'm gonna flip it over first and then try to pick it from the center here and pick it up flat like this and set it on top. Now, they gotta do some work to the top of all these poles, so they're really not gonna be taken down many more. I think they have this four header down, two doubles, and then some singles over on the other side. And that might be it for them taking down poles today, which is good because I wanna try to get out of here and get on the road.
All right, so we're back over here where we were working yesterday only because uh, there's a recyclable dumpster right there. It says recyclable items only so we can throw all the glass lenses in there. And I got trash here. I did find a shady spot on the back side of the building, but it's way over there out of the way. And um, there's no dumpsters anywhere. So, so we're just gonna drop them over here and uh, just knock them out like we did yesterday. Okay, these are gonna be the last of them. I got uh, two doubles here. I just kind of threw this one on the trailer here. Now they gotta go, they're gonna modify the poles and what they're doing is tomorrow and I think the next day, they're going to be installing all the new LEDs so they can get these light plants out of here, okay? And then they're gonna do the next section which is probably gonna be Thursday and Friday, I'll be back here, but check this out. So that's good, that means I can go back um i can get back early enough today i actually have to go get a tire for this trailer that's bubbled up and my freaking trailer spares are are bubbled up i don't know what's going on with them tires man i thought they were spares i think they were actually two tires that bubbled up that i already took off the trailer they got really nice they were like brand new tires so i thought they were good spares but they're junk we'll be back here friday this is going to give me a good chance to get rid of all this stuff and uh, go process them transformers and take a nice load to Miami. Now everything on the trailer is ready to rock and roll. So once I have these broke down, the trailer's gonna just stay. I'm gonna drag it home. I was actually thinking about finding a local place to sell this stuff, but I gotta bring all this stuff back and process the transformers anyway. You know, I'm kind of loyal to my guys down in Miami.
Okay, we're on the last stretch for today. I got my pizza heating up out here. And uh, these birds over here, he's been eyeballing my slices. He keeps circling. So we'll see if he comes by and tries to take the swipe. Now, you know how I'm always liking to repurpose stuff. Check this out. So to keep my GoPro cool, I've uh, taken a cover off, run my battery to it, and I created this sunshade. So hopefully it stays cool. So we'll be coming back with a decent sized load. I'm almost glad that they didn't take any more down than this today because I'll tell you what, my back has about had it bending over. I really missed my little roll around chair. I was gonna bring it, but I forgot trying to rush, you know, but we got it. I got a nice almost three hour ride home. Give my back time to recuperate. <laughs> so I'm gonna load this up, strap it down, say goodbye to my guys, and I'm gonna go get a tire real quick. And then we're gonna hit the highway. Well, there you have it. We got it all strapped down. Got the back of the truck all tidied up. I'm probably gonna wind up putting that net on before I get on the highway, but we're gonna probably use that jack to change this tire here in a little bit. Got everything kind of double strapped. Everything is either squeezed together and pulled down. This is the only thing that I put two straps on because it wasn't strapped in two different directions. As you can see, every single box, okay, has a strap holding it down. And that way, <clears throat> ain't no way something's just gonna fly off. We have it wrapped, squeezed together, squeezed down, two straps on the back. This one here is just going across, holding them down. This one here is doing the same thing, but it's also holding the gate from coming down because it's not in the thing anymore. And this strap going diagonal down like that is also holding the gate. So we have two straps holding the gate down just in case something happens. Everything looks good. You know, you gotta smack it. That ain't going nowhere. Now we can get on the road, go get a tire. Probably should look into getting a fender. <laughs> Baby steps, we'll get there. All right, well, we made it back. I actually stopped and bought two used tires because I don't like buying new tires out at tire shops because of the markup. My grandfather owns a huge tire business, so I call him and then I go to a distributor and I get them at like cost. I spent like 90 bucks getting two tires mounted and balanced. So at least I had a good spare. That tire needs to replace now, but hey, we made it back. Everything's still tight. Nothing fell off. Nobody was beeping at me. <laughs> we did about 70, 75. I stayed behind a tractor trailer. We just cruised. I tried to draft them as much as possible. This is the tire I had replaced. Did pretty good. No wobbling, no issues. Now, oh, and as soon as I pulled around the corner down here, a dude pops out and he goes, hey, you want this for scrap? I'm like, no, I want it for, I can paint it and use it as a shelf. <laughs> so I just got myself a little mini shelf. You know how we always need shelf space. And we got a pile of transformers down there. Some big boys. So I'm gonna take a break, kind of decompress from all that driving, find something to eat. So while we're waiting, let's go over the scrap ticket for that job. We had 2,118 pounds of old sheet aluminum. At 52 cents a pound, uh, that's a little less than I thought. $1,101.36. Then we had the uh, extrusion, 290 pounds, 70 cents a pound, $203. Then we had the irony aluminum, was that big transfer, 509 pounds, 15 cents a pound. I got 76.35 for that. So that transformer pretty much just paid for the fuel. And then number two wire, 20 pounds, 90 cents a pound that we're pulling away. $18 for $1,398.71. Not bad for uh, like a day and a half's worth of work. Actual, I mean, it took me two days to do that, but physical working was only like a day and a half, you know? So, all right, I gotta find out where we're going.
I'll tell you where we're going. Right to the scrap yard. Bottom the length. So it's either a good day or a bad day when you break your boom picking up copper. <laughs> so I, I definitely think it's time for a forklift so I can pick up all the copper and not have this issue no more. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Perfect. And we only got a little bit of residuals. So I have to get the totals for that. Um, I forget what I paid for that copper. But we made out pretty good on that. And you know how I like to turn and burn. best thing to do when you sell off five thousand dollars worth of copper is uh go buy sixty seven hundred dollars worth of copper <laughs> there's a bunch of uh 
600 MCM.